welcome back to my country craft corner how in the world are you guys doing today just so good to see you again and thank you so so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to and I know I'm in the same outfit as I was in the other day's video or yesterday's video I'm not sure how quickly I'm gonna be getting these videos up. just to show you a little bit of what we're doing with this garland so I wanted to go ahead and show you what we're doing sorry I'm a mess here but it's real what can you say I'm, I'm what, what can we say I'm real <laughs> this is two I believe two five foot garlands tied together these are the same pip berries that go on my staircase two the same type and the I will put a link for this mixed berry garland down in the description I got these again from the pipberrybarn.com I highly recommend the pipberrybarn.com you guys we have had a 50 or 100 strand of brown lights, warm white lights on this for several years. And it's getting to the point where we just really wanted to do something different. Chris found these string lights at our little store called Little here in town. Unfortunately, I cannot give you a link for these lights, but these are what we're going to put it on this Pipberry Garland. They are simply 200, there are 200 of them, uh, LED string lights. So I will show you once it's up on the mantle and uh, explain to you how, you know, Chris rigged it up there and then we'll get to decorate in this mantle, all right? All right. Hey everyone, Arlen here. Back the next day after I just talked to you about those lights. Well, as you can see, we got them put on this garland now y'all I would not necessarily recommend this <laughs> Chris had to do one of his special little uh, electrical uh, tricks well he had to figure out if he could cut this length down and he figured out he could much like he does for those of you who have followed me for a while with the fairy lights he can make the if you cut to the right hand side furthest away past a bulb from where the transformer is where you plug in the the lights tenth what every tenth. oh i'm sorry in this case it was every tenth bulb he had to count 10 bulbs and on the opposite side on the side furthest away right from the transformer that's where you cut it yeah, yeah. Okay, it came in gangs of 10. Anyway, it's hard to explain. I would suggest that you just get yourself, mm, say, uh, 50 <laughs> uh, light, uh, brown corded light strand. This is, this is actually green cords and it looks fine on here. You can't tell, but what I had on here before was, uh, was a brown cord. Uh, but these are LED lights and they're just little, as you can see. And it looks really pretty, as you can see. It turned out really pretty. Let me take these off real quick. Let me show you the, and this is two, whoops, wait a minute. This is actually two, I believe that I didn't look it up before I came on, I meant to. I think they're two five foot, I'll correct myself if I'm wrong, five foot long pip berry garlands. And I have them tie wrapped together right in the middle. And they go all the way around the edge. You can see that they go all the way around the edge. I'm going to take my camera off of the tripod here in a minute, and I'm going to get real up up close and show you exactly how Chris has rigged all this up, and how we have these uh, the garland hanging on here using metal coat hangers and and command strips. Honestly, but I'm going to get the camera down off of there real quick before I start decorating and I'm going to show you guys exactly what we did. This is not hard work, but it is a bit arduous and a little bit uh, frustrating at times because you I have a vision of something and to bring it to fruition sometimes drives Chris a little crazy, I think. <laughs> But bless his heart, he always figures out a way for it to work for us. And we work as a team, you guys. This this channel just is in our lens, Country Craft Corner. It really is Chris and our lens, Country Craft Corner, although he won't let me put his name on it. So <laughs> I'm the front man, you know. <laughs> but he does so much work for, for us in the and behind the scenes, you guys. I'm so grateful. 
Sorry, I'm so grateful to him for all he does, you know? I'm just so grateful. Anyway, let me, I'm going to get this angel out off of here and so I can show you everything that we've done. And then I'm going to go ahead and decorate this mantle up with some wintry-ish, you know, decor. And I'll, you'll know what I mean when I get to going here. And uh, so let me get the camera down and turn and flip it the other direction. And I'm going to get you up real close. And we're going to take a look at this. And I will be right back in just a second behind the camera. Okie dokie, here we are. I'm behind the camera now. First of all, I wanted to show you what else Chris did for me today. And he hung that big wreath up on the mirror. Isn't that pretty? It turned out Sam is laying here on the ground. Aren't you, buddy? <laughs> He's never in the way. But you excuse the mess everywhere else, but there we go. The wreath looks really pretty. All right, let's walk up here and I don't know whether you can see this thing to move this out of the way here. You can, can you see that command strip right in the back there, right here? With if that is just a command strip taped on, excuse my dust if there is any, uh, with a little hook. And then this is a coat hanger that Chris has bent and then brought out here and put hooks on the end. Can you see the hooks? There you go. And he took it off the side on the back there and then off of the front. And so we just literally hook this Pitberry garland right on it. And this is a gang of, I have five different lights plugged in up here. I've got two houses and three of the little spool lights. All, you, can see, you can see he's ganged together all of the cords with, what else, tie wraps, and have them scooch way back there. He's also given me a couple of shims so that I can put the angel up here and the coat hanger will not make her wobble. So he's given me a couple of shims so she can sit right up there. And here is another uh, couple of shims underneath my house with another hook. Same kind of business behind it with a command strip. And I can't get to it, sorry. Command strip and a hook, but the same kind of thing. As you can see, we have one plug right behind the clock there. And I, that's where we had it placed when we had the house built. And that's one of my spiffy little timers there that you see right there uh, and I turn all the decorative lights off every night and I'll give you a link for that in the description and there's another house same kind of deal with another hook and then one more in the corner with shims for the little angel to go on this side so you can see quite a lot of thought went into this I replaced my garland three times a year this garland will stay up until I put my fall garland back up. And then the Christmas garland goes up. And then this goes back up next January. So I reuse my decor or my accent pieces every year, year in and year out. I don't go recreate the wheel every year. Now, that's not to say that I haven't purchased some stuff <laughs> with my Christmas money this year to go up on this mantle and down in the hearth. I will not be doing the hearth today. We're just gonna concentrate on the mantle and see what I can do with this. So let me put my camera back up on the tripod and get everything situated. It is such a dank, dreary day outside. Look at it. We're gonna brighten up the mood though here with doing this spiffy mantle. I'm really excited to finally get to doing this. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to put a little bit of a, of a wintry rustic wintry feel to this mantle. All right, I'll be right back in front of the camera. Okie dokie, here we go. Let's get started right over here on this, on the two ends with these angels. And these cords, they gave us a little bit of, a, of an issue for sure. But these are the angels I got from Hobby Lobby out of the spring shop. And I just want them kind of to sit here almost to the edge as close as I can get to the edge of 
the mantle. And I want them tilted in just a little bit. Oop, let me back it up. Or, there we go. So you can maybe see the top of her head there and her halo. Can't quite see her halo. There we go. And uh, so I just want her tilted in at, as, at a bit of an angle. And she's up on her shim, so the coat hanger isn't making her wobble. So she's nice and sturdy and strong sitting there. And I have one for this side too. And she's gonna go up and be placed in the same position as that little lady is. Again, with two little wooden shims under her. Here we go. Okay. I'm all about angles too. And I'm all about layering. You're gonna see me layer a lot. And I, I think it's really important to just add one piece at a time and go from there, you know? And do what your eye likes, you guys. You don't have to go and do exactly what I do here. You can make up your own design, absolutely. And trust yourself, trust your eyes, trust your gut, you know? Next up, I'm gonna put, uh, I got these candlesticks several years ago from piperclassics.com, and I do believe they still sell them in a, in a set of three. So I'm just gonna use one, two up here, one on this side and one on the other. I usually have two, but I have a little snowman that's gonna take the place of the other. So I'm just gonna kind of snug these up. I got these spool lights years and years and years ago at a craft show in Occoquan, Virginia, you guys. I have not seen these as of late. You could probably make them, but I haven't seen them. But anyway, there's that one. And here's another one. And these candles I got at Hobby Lobby. And they're like a burlap color, black, and kind of a burgundy red on the bottom. I'm also about Symmetry and even though I have two little lights here, I still want the big candle to kind of be in the same place on both sides. Like that. Okay, next up, we have these little these little snowmen that I got from for Christmas. Aren't they cute? And they came from kpcreek.com. I think I'm gonna set these fellas right in like that. This guy will have a candle in front of him, the other guy won't. And he is gonna go right there. And I'm kind of looking at the mirror now. You know, I'm looking at that little scrolly business on the mirror and I'm trying to you know, kind of place him in about the same spot. I think I've got him pretty, pretty, pretty good there. Okay, so that kind of does it for my big stuff up on the mantle. I also got these couple of little, uh, kind of snowy wreaths with a little bit of cotton on them. And I want to put one on this hook. Well, first of all, hang on. I want to lift these houses up just a little bit more because I am going to put these wreaths up there and they need to be up just a smidge higher. So I'm going to put a little piece of wood underneath and Chris cuts me copious amounts of little pieces of wood like this, little wood scraps. And that's what I use to lift my decor up a little bit sometimes. You should be able to see those when we're finished. Hopefully. Okay, now. There we go. There we go. Just 
just a little something something now of course y'all remember i made my bows and one goes on this hook over here and usually what i do is i just make like a little loop with my pipe cleaner around my finger and just loop the bow right over the coat hanger if I can find it and I haven't cut my tails yet so I will once I get both bows up there's one I'm gonna to wait to cut those tails a little longer. Okay, let's see. I have three sprigs of cotton with bells and a little bit of pine that Candace got me for Christmas. So I think I'll try to fit, just lay them up here. No rhyme or reason, honest to goodness, you guys, with this, just kind of laying them in the same spot. If I had four, I wish I had four, but I don't. So what I might do is just maybe do that. I think it looks okay. And then I have three more sprigs of cotton. I don't think I'm gonna use the third though. I'm gonna point this one this way. Kind of try to point this one straight. I don't know whether I even like this one, to be honest with you. I kind of don't like that there. I kind of want to leave that clear. I like that. Okay, now I have some burlap stars. Let me see. One hung down here you can see I think you can see well there's one hung right on here I'll show you when I get my camera down now I've got I've only got one more so I do have these but I've decided I don't want to use these up here because they're just well I don't know I, I had them sitting here just as a, oh wait, you know what, hang on, I have camel sticks, I want back there. Let me get the rest of my little stuff up first. I forgot about these. These are just two little camel sticks I got from Hobby Lobby, I don't know, long time ago. And they're always up here, kind of right in this spot. So have these little ladies here. Two more little angels. They fit in there. They may not. 
There we go. Looking good. Got me some burlap magnolias for Christmas too. Let me see what I can do with these. can tie them in pretty much just wrapped it right around the pit berries again I'm layering and just adding stuff where my eye seems to think that there might need something yeah you know, I stand back often I look at it I'm like, oh, I think I could use something here or there. And I bet you can tell where I'm gonna put two more, like two more of these. Sometimes my family thinks I'm crazy. Mom, why do you think, where in the world are you gonna use that? What will you do with that? I said, trust me. You all got to trust your mother's eye, you know? Now look. I have these uh, bells and then I have these snowflakes. These are just Christmas ornaments from Hobby Lobby this year. Again, layering. I thought I would hang them or tie them into the pit berries. I don't think I want to do that. Could do. Tie them into the stars. Why couldn't I do that? Hello. I want you to knock something over here. Me and my bright ideas. <laughs> I'm going to do a little tweaking uh, and then let me put my camera down here so I can say my final words and then I'll take the camera off and we will do a okie dokie you guys while I'm standing here looking at you I want to go ahead and do my final words and then I will take the camera off and we'll walk you right, right down this this mantle I'm super happy with how this worked out I really 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 am I think my vision that I've been working on in my head for the last, I don't know, month or more. Y'all have heard me talk about this forever, I think. And I think I've finally brought it to fruition the way I wanted it to. Oh my goodness, I'm super happy with this, you guys. And it's just a touch, just a touch of the rustic, just a touch of winter, just a touch, you know, just a touch. So I'm super happy with it. So anyway, I'll take the camera down in here in just a minute, but let me just say that I hope that all is well with everyone. And no matter how bleak your day is, like it is out my window here, find something to smile about, you guys. Think a positive thought. Close your eyes and think about one of your favorite places on the planet that you'd like to be. For me, Glacier Bay, Alaska comes to mind. <laughs> Uh, 
For you, it may be a beach, or it may be a meadow, or it may be with your grandchild, or it may be with your kids, or your husband, or your dad, or your mom, or some other relative, or a good friend. Picture that. Don't let these days get you down when they're so dark and dreary like this. You know, I, I do have a hard time when the sun doesn't shine for days and days and days on end. I do have a hard time lifting my mood, you know, and finding something to smile about. But anyway, I hope that those of you who are struggling or suffering with a chronic, with chronic pain or a catastrophic, God forbid, illness, I... Hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, spending their days with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around, and I do keep you in my thoughts and prayers every single day. And remember, in crafting, there are no mistakes, only unique creations. <laughs> With all that said, I'll just say, until next time, I'll be back behind the camera, though. But until next time, while I'm looking at you, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye. Okie dokie, everybody. Here I am, behind the camera again. And there is mantle with a bit of a winter rustic scene going on here. Let me move up for you guys. Here's my funky bow with that spiffy kind of chicken wire but a lot more pliable stuff on them. I'll give you a link to the video where I did a, a, a tutorial for these 12 loop funky bows. And there are those chippy angels. And uh, some cotton and magnolias, burlap magnolias, and little reeds. I got all of these little accent pieces from KP Creek. Again, I'll give you a link. I got all of this stuff, these little rustic snowmen, on sale at KP Creek. The snowflakes, the oil world bronze snowflakes came from Hobby Lobby. And then of course I've had my willow tree figurines. But I got the Pitberry Garland from thepitberrybarn.com where I always get my Pitberry Garland. <laughs> and then this side pretty much mirrors the other side. I'm all about symmetry and balance. And I know some folks don't decorate that way, but I always have. And if I'm going to have something taller uh, on one side than the other, it's going to need to be on the left. I don't know. That's just the way my eye sees things. <laughs> so anyway, I'm super happy with how this worked out. I can't tell you all, I've been, I've been really looking forward to doing this and I've been stressing about doing it because it's a brand new design for me. Again, I'm stretching my muscles, pushing those design, decorator walls, uh, flexing my muscles a little bit and I'm super happy with how it, how it worked out. So next up will probably be my hearth. I think I'm going to do one funky bow topper for that little red lantern, and he's going to go there. And I'm I'm not going to have a lot of decor down on the hearth. I've decided I'm going to make it a little less busy down there. So I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do yet. That pillow will come into play, and the angels will come into play. These angels actually are going to go up, I think, up here. We got some double-sided tape, but I think they're gonna go up there. We have two, one on this window and then one on that one over there. So, and then I have the littler angels and they'll go, I think I'm gonna hang one right there where she's hanging and put the other one over here somehow. But the angels will be in with this whole decor on this end of the, over here around the fireplace and hearth. 
But anyway, that's it for this one, you guys. I'm not sure if I'll come back for another one before my Friday Live. So I may take tomorrow off. We'll see what tomorrow brings. I'm not sure. I may get do, to do in this hearth, or I may not. I don't know. So I don't want to tell you something and then disappoint you if I don't come back. So I'll try, but if not, I'll see you in my Friday Live, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. <laughs> All right, you guys, until next time, y'all take good, good care now. Bye-bye.